You've got to tune to KEXP listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online around the globe at KEXP.org. And we are beside ourselves with excitement to have this band live in studio. It's Midlake. Welcome. Hello. It's been five long years since you've been here. That's too uh, long. We'd love to start a new tradition. You know, you can (laughs) stop by more frequently. Yearly. We'll we'll start doing that. We'll just add some, uh, you know, just covers and seasonal songs just to make it, you know, worth our while to come back because you know our, we, we usually take way too long to get new music so we'll throw some type of music over here that sounds like a plan <laughs> yeah. you know we'll book your next appointment before you okay. leave <laughs> it's mid lake live on kexp why don't you start us off with a song That is gorgeous. Midlake live on KEXP, a song from their new album, Antiphon. And you'll be playing tonight at the Crocodile. Did I pronounce that correctly? Crocodile, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very generous of you. Can you play one more and then we'll chat a bit? Yeah, definitely. Defiles 
It's Mid Lake Live on KEXP with the title track from the new album Antiphone. I should have just waited one more song. My Greek's a little rusty. But um, an absolutely beautiful record. And you mentioned that it takes a bit of time between Mid Lake Records. Not so long if you factor in the touring, but if I'm to believe what I've read on the interweb, this last album might have taken a little extra time because I heard you'd recorded much of a new record and then scrapped it and started all over. Is that right? Yeah, you know, it's always a fun exercise to just spend two years making a record and then throw it away and make another one. You um, wouldn't be the first to do that. <laughs> Well, um, we had a bit of a shift uh, and a transition. Um, you know, Tim had left the band after two years of working on a record, and we felt like it was best to make a glean, clean break and make a statement that was our own. So unfortunately, that music got, got left behind, but um, fortunately, we uh, bonded together and, and rose to the occasion and, and made a new record and wrote and recorded it in six months. And rather than finding a new vocalist, uh, you stepped into that position. And I know that you kind of were moving more to center stage in later years and that you all sing. And that's one of the beautiful things about Midlake. But was that a comfortable shift for you? Well, it was only about six feet over to the right, you know. So. <laughs> you just scooched <laughs> so on over. Um, you know, I, w I won't lie. It was there were some growing pains, you know, not only, you know, obviously writing and recording music together, but also, you know, changing that identity to some degree. Um, and now playing live and playing old songs and new songs. And it is a shift. But, you know, for us, we couldn't apologize. It wasn't something that we chose. We, we just kind of took it in stride and uh, decided to um, just own it and, and uh, you know, uh, just hope that uh, folks would grow uh, with us as well. Well, people leave bands all the time, and bands goes on. And, of course, when you lose a singer, that can often be kind of a distinctive sound. But you've definitely maintained the Midlake sound. And it's not unusual for the band to kind of change the sound from album to album. Do you go into the making of an album with a certain idea of how you want it to sound? There's there's no equation, and, and, and definitely on this record, uh, we did not. You know, I, I think for us... Uh, especially given the situation, we just kind of pulled all our bags together and poured them out on the table and said, okay, what, what, what do you have in your bag, you know, and then tried to sift through and figure out how we could make it work together and be cohesive. Um, and it was just kind of a, a work in progress, you know, we didn't have all the hows, you know, we just knew that we wanted to, to do it and to, to try it. And uh, once the train started moving, it, it, it really started feeling good and we, we got encouraged and really within a short amount of time started to to hear a sound and kind of a focused um uh vibe that uh we were able to kind of harness and and then put together 10 songs luckily it's a very cohesive sounding album that's what people say over and over when i'm talking about it with them and it sounds like it was a little bit more of a collaborative effort. Is that true? For sure. I mean, not only because that's what we wanted, but I think we needed that. Um, uh, everybody bringing ideas to the table, everybody making each other's ideas better, and everybody just, uh, the, the voices, both literally and figuratively, I think were heard more than ever on this record. And that was that was a cool thing. And, and not to knock how we did it before, because there is no right or wrong way. It's just we had kind of gotten into... A groove of how to do that and obviously with with Tim uh, being a, a, a poignant figure in that you just kind of figure out the best way to operate and we kind of just clean the slate you know and and, and redefined how we do things and uh, and it produced a record so uh, we, we, we couldn't have been happier to just to make it to the finish line you know a lot um can sometimes be made of someone leaving the band, especially when you say they're such a poignant figure. But one of the things about Midlake is it's always been a band made up of musicians who are very, very good at their craft. And I heard that you also added a new member or two. We have a couple, but they've been with us since 2010. Oh, so, so that's not um, so new. Yeah, and uh, so, but um, but yeah, we're six strong now um, on on the record and. Uh, and live and um, yeah it's a, a great group of friends and musicians so we, we all feel happy and blessed to be able to to be uh, still uh, still uh, mid -late. well we're so happy that you made time to stop by today and would love to hear more music thank you we will do just make sure I'm in tune close enough
and she would greet me, sit by the fire till the morning comes. Telling of stories, how we could move off, leave the other, start anew at once. To join a celebration, celebration Oh, this day will never come to us Oh, oh we're gone Midlake Live on KEXP. Tonight they play in Seattle at the Crocodile Cafe. And if you've got time for one more.
Young from the new Midlake album Antiphone and very impressive playing of keyboard and flute at the same time there on that song. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Everyone's going to take credit for that. Thank you so much, everyone. That was wonderful, and it's always a pleasure to have you here. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Appreciate and tonight, Midlake play at the Crocodile here in Seattle. You've got a tune to KEXP, listener powered radio in Seattle.